I'm going to sell tuxedos in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was those guys that the rejects from the Park Avenue guys. Don't forget that. How <laughs> could <laughs> <laughs> I? Don't you think it come out on that? <laughs> well, I was going, <laughs> I was going to put a ten spot in the trousers of those uh, suits that I saw. All the guys on the block would figure that. <laughs> that these guys were so rich they would forget to check the pockets and that way they'd get all the ten pins before I would remember. <laughs> so what happened? Uh, I wouldn't give them the first ten bucks to start the action going. We <laughs> <laughs> would have been rich men by now, right? I see what you mean about Brian. He's a great guy. Uh, yeah. Well, with me, it goes way back with him, you know? When a guy like Chuck really made the difference. Funny man. Um, Buzz, uh, you want to do me a favor? Yeah. Um, I have to go out for a while. Uh, Marla. Marla's gonna wait here till I get back. Hello. That's Buzz. When he was a kid, I chased him up and down more alleys than you got in all Philadelphia. <laughs> that one there, that's Todd. Nice guy. Both of them are nice guys. They're my guests for the week. So they know where the coffee and the eggs and the dishes are. How about some breakfast while I get my coat? Yeah, yeah, look, Mr. Brunner, will you hurry? Please. Well, hello again. Why don't you um, sit down and have some breakfast? See? It is a small world. Even in Philadelphia, they've heard what you can do to a coffee bean. <laughs> Look, I want you... Just keep cool, Mom. Uh, Rose, she's kind of had a hard time, so try to keep a smile on yourself. Right, right sure. Oh, Rose, Rose, job coming, Eddie? It's a job. Day off? I'm on the way in. Okay. So I'm late. What's that? I'm late. Well, you wouldn't have been if Packy hadn't called the summit and you hadn't sat in. Ah, oh, grow up, Eddie. You're trying to write your name in the sky, you can't even go upstairs with this gang. Calling yourselves the Missiles. They never got one of you off the pad yet. Look around, Eddie. Where's the magic beanstalk? And Packy. He's not a giant killer. You gotta climb the hard way, the way the rest of us do. By your fingernails, by your bootstraps, by your guts. I'll see you around, Eddie. Nobody 
already sent for you. If I waited for you guys to send for me, I'd be the old man of the mountain, wouldn't I? Look, Chucky. It... He laughs at me. He thinks it's a big joke. So? Up or down? Try the stairs. This rocket's booked. Okay, job man. Count down. Going up. You maybe have some of the tenants in this building scared, but you don't scare me. I got a man who knows how to handle little crooks like you. I've seen your man, lady. Rats. That's what they are, all rats taking over the whole building. Come on, let's go home. Jason's waiting. Can't do it, Packy. Can't do what, job man? I hear it's a five-hand hit for tonight. <laughs> Herring in the head. <laughs> Call it off, Packy. <laughs> Here, listen to me, all of you. It's off. If I have to live in your pockets, it's off. Forget it. How you gonna stop us, job man? Any way you want, kid. Any way, job man? Pick it.
didn't you know only the little birdie flies? No panic, just cut out. What about tonight? What about it? We'll be hush. Man, that's the best time. No, there's nothing here to soothe the savage beast. Ah, looks like Chuck's ear runs to to classical. How about an unfinished symphony, huh? Look, you don't have to knock yourself out for me. I don't know why you keep looking out that window. What is out there, anyway? I should have gone to Johnny first before I came here. But he'd have laughed it off. Who's Johnny? What's keeping Mr. Briner? Well, that depends. What did you send him out after? Okay, packed. Oh, good. When Chuck gets back, we'll cut out, right? Yeah. Look at all these old photographs, huh? Wow. Thousands of kids in Chuck. Playground, alleys, school steps. Wow. Did you know he used to be a truant officer? What a tough guy he was. He's only kept me in Pierce 42. <laughs> Look at that. I never thought of such a skinny kid, huh? Wow. You see that paper in my hand? It's diploma. I didn't even know how to spell it, but I knew what it felt like that afternoon. Chuck got one of these Broadway candid camera guys, took that picture. I don't know, I lost mine somewhere along the line. But he kept his. After all these years, here it is in this old box, huh? And all the other pictures of these guys, all the guys he helped. Wow. You in trouble with the police? Is that what you sent Chuck for? Talk you free? Huh? Hey, wait a minute! Okay, Mr. Jensen, I'll take it from here. My name's Peterson, Lieutenant Peterson. Okay, if I come in? Sure, come on. Finding you fellas here could be a break, you know? A break? I figure uh, maybe there's a note on the pad by the phone, or uh, maybe the super's got a hunch. Not much to begin with, but you gotta start somewhere. So the uh, super tells us all week, Dryer's got company. You too? Old pals? Yeah. Boy's been in all morning? Why? I notice your luggage uh, leaving. As soon as Chuck gets back. When did you see him last? About 8 o'clock. Look, Lieutenant, I mean, you know, we're grown boys. Don't cat and mouse us. What's it all about? Reiner is dead. The hard way. Now, uh, let's take it from the top. She's gone. Who's gone? That girl. The girl that sent Chuck running out of here. Marva. Marva what? I don't know, just Marva, a 17-year-old girl with tight pants and a sweater and a short gray coat. Uh, could be one of them. Happened in Missile Territory. It's a gang of JDs hanging on the rooftops, uh, backstairs, elevators, hallways. Need an army to patrol all their territory. Uh, okay, um, we'll talk on the way. Yeah. Uh, sit in with me on the lineup. We're gonna pull them in the whole rat pack. Little marker too, and uh, I'll need identification. Come 
the face. My husband's a good man. What am I supposed to tell him? I'm a young man. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. I'm not like, wait a while, boys, I disagree. If they push them, they'll get the chair regardless. Come on, Harry, a couple of them don't even look 15. Look, I have the list right here, and most of them are old enough to make the varsity. I talked to the head boy, Paggy, and he said nobody touched Briner. Look, wait a while, wait a while, let the coroner's jury decide this. Huh? All spruced up today, boys? Notice it, Todd? What? Where are the fathers? Where is it, Todd? We got the missiles and their gals. If you spot this marker, let me know. Come on. Okay, Captain. Okay, lights out. Ah, right, let's go. Marty Khan. Phil Johnson, Leona Harding, Toots Mason. Come on, Toots. All right, right face. Hey, Phil, you said right face. Come yes, sir. Come on, come on, let's see the profile. There. Hey, how long are you going to keep us here? I got an appointment. Knock it off, knock it off. Mr. Please, come here. Those two boys, they took him up in the elevator. They must have had a gun in their pockets. That's how they got him to go up there. All right, the four of you can move off there. Two boys get downstairs. All right, let's have the next batch. Eddie Boyd, Packy Gerard, Betty Spencer, Mary Janice. Maybe she just said her name was Marva. Well, Chuck introduced us. He'd know her name. Mm. To try to cover the bases. Maybe she's in the net, maybe she isn't. All right, step out, Packy. Right on the line. Yeah, baby, take a place. How about a little profile, man? Oh, you ought to be in pictures. <laughs> I am, man. Only your cameraman stinks. Ever been convicted of a felony? Who, me? No. Ah, uh, you're not telling me the truth, Packy. Arrested June 9th, entering and breaking Carl's discount shop. How much did you make on that haul, Packy? <sighs> Buttons and bows. Oh, no, Packy, sorry. $500 camera, a radio. Five hundred? Oh, come on. A little box job. Four seventy-five at your handy corner drugstore. That guy just jacked up the claim for the insurance payoff. You take a fall for that? Why should I? It's the first time I ever got caught. And the man says, Now, Packy, you stay out of trouble here. Yeah? Same old jazz all the time. But that man don't tell me how. <laughs> and I mean, a growing boy's got to have something to do, right? Can't just hang around, you know? All right, all right, Packy. There'll be a coroner's inquest. We'll subpoena you to testify under oath. Look, you want the truth? Then let's do it now, right here with the lie box, huh? I'm serious, man. Come on, here's the skin. Where's the lie box? You want to know the truth? Well, I'll give it to you, man. So Brian had crossed in flames, so what? So I'm telling you, you all out there staring down your noses at us. Brian was a lot better cat than any of you will ever be. No one asked him to stick with us, but he hung, see? Not like some social worker with conviction. No, man, he had guts. Down the line to the core. Brian and Doug, and he stuck. And not just on Sundays either. Any time, any place. You name it, he was there. Yeah, man. But the missiles. We get our laws, too. And our kicks. Brian knew them both. He called me on, man. Yeah. Anyway, he said. You pick it, kid. He tried to put me down in front of my own tribe. No, oh, man. I'm the leader. Right, Eddie? Right, Packy. Right, Garrett? You know it. Yeah. They know, man, that nobody can fly like Packy Gerard. Nobody. 
Griner, he tried. Yeah, he really tried, man. But he slipped. End of scene. Where's Marva, Peggy? I don't know, man. I sure wish I did. You don't believe me? Get the lie box. All right, move them out. Let the rest of them go, too. That wraps it up for today. Well, that's about the size of it. Look, fellas, uh, I think there's something you might want to know. The state's attorney's office just phoned in. Seems they turned up some old guy who lives in an apartment building across the street. He and his wife have nothing better to do than sit in the window and watch people. They saw the whole accident. Reiner making like a kid, stooging around the roof, swinging on TV antennas, you name it. Nobody was near him when he went over, just like Packy said. Well, that makes it an accident. Open and shut. We don't judge him, kid. We just follow the rules. All in a day's work. You develop an immunity, or you die of the disease. Show me some bodies. That brother he talked about in Cincinnati, maybe he's still there. Somebody's got to close the apartment and settle his affairs. Yeah, they ought to invent a new kind of spray. Something that settles your affairs after you're gone. Spray it around a few times and everything disappears. The old shoes in the closet, the beer in the icebox. Settles everything, you know? are back on the street. They're all squared away and home free. Well, I'm not squared with them. Oh, come on, now tell me. How did you get Chuck to get up on the roof, huh? How did you get him to get with the gang? Now, come on, tell me. If you don't tell me, I'm going to take you up to the roof and hang you by your feet until you do. If Mr. Briner couldn't stop him, who can? Never mind, Mr. Briner. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop what? We both knew what would happen. Who knows better than Johnny? He made the rules. All right, Marva, you came back here and you wanted Chuck Briner to stop something. Something about Johnny. Now, who's Johnny? I love him. And he loves me. When he left, I didn't want to live anymore. I thought I'll go away. I'll go away. Where can I go? Where do I go to? I don't want to stay around and have to be with Johnny. And if I did that, we'd both be dead. Dead? Johnny rules. When he was the leader. The missiles, girls belong to the missiles. You leave, you leave your girl. I'm Packy's girl now. I got nothing against Packy, you know. But Johnny... Johnny, why do I have to love him? We took a chance, you know. We went away together. Just for one day. Johnny was wonderful. He's changed. I, I, mean, I mean, you know, he's, he's out of it now. You should hear him talk. He wants us to be married. He's, he said, Marvani, as soon as I have a nest egg, oh, he cut out. 
They'll never see our dust. Thank you found out. This morning, the council, he said we gotta make an example. Not me. Not this time, because Peggy likes me. But Johnny, Johnny, they gotta make an example. If anybody could have stopped him, Mr. Briner could. But he's gone now. Look, Marvel, what about the police? You know, that's what they're for. What could they do? Put Johnny on the glass? Next week, next month, it would happen. It would happen. <laughs> Stay with it, Tyler. Oh, now, wait a minute, Tyler. You're not going to try to handle this alone. I don't intend to. Where do I find him? Johnny who? Johnny Berenson. He's working on the new building going up on Broad Street. Right. Buzz Wheeler. God. If it's good enough for Chuck to start, it's good enough for us to finish. His way. Marty. Yeah? Go give me some flowers, man. Like roses flowers? Yeah. Like a dozen. Come on. Got to be. Got nowhere else to go. Right up there. Rocking in the cradle of a cop out. You don't feel like the fuss says. They always make the scene of the crime. Pretty good, huh? Like uh, Chuck Briner, Packy, Marva. Just names. What do I know? I heard you'd gone eight to five, Johnny. In the eight to five world, when a guy gives you the facts out front, you meet them out front. You don't play it cool the way you're doing. So I'm a stranger. But I'm the only one that could have got you. That's how hot you are. I'll see you, fella, huh? What do you got to do with this? My business. The pavement. Oh no, wait a minute. Me first. A lot of water under a lot of bridges. I owe Chuck. Well, why don't you pay him off his way? Stay away from, from Packy, huh? How? How? You told me I'll mark for a hit tonight, right? What am I supposed to do, wait here, huh? Let him hit me? I might go in there and bust him up before they get set and take Packy out, huh? That'll get you downtown. That's where that'll get you, right in a cell. What else? Look, why don't you ask the man over there for some time off, huh? We'll take care of this together. The right way. Okay.
Yeah? Flowers for Mr. Briner. Kathy. Just leave him outside. Now I can't do that, man. Somebody's got a sign for him. Look, oh, Greg, now he's just guessing, but if I don't open the door, he'll know you're in here. Hey, come on, man. I got some more deliveries. Okay. All right, all right. You Mr. Briner? No, I'll take him. Yeah, well, I'm from the Acme floor. See, we got a special service. From the hot house into your pot. That's our model. You got a pot? I'll get a base. Just put them down and uh, give me the paper you want me to sign. Hey, it smells nice in here, you know? Yeah, well, maybe it's the roses. No, 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 no. Like some, uh, some crazy French perfume with a funny name. Yeah. La... I don't know. I know a girl who wears this stuff. Yeah, like she practically drowns in this stuff. I don't know, I gave it to her. Oh, you got a base in there, huh? I'll get it. Give me the paper. Oh, the paper, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I got that right here. Come on. My corner no return, fella. <laughs> now, you can keep your pretty whites and still have dinner tonight. You go. Summit, Packy. Who are you, man? I don't know you. I speak for Chuck Briner. He ran out of words. Yeah, well, he left me a few. Yeah. You, uh, missiles, you got a constitution? Yeah, so what? Well, uh, there was a rule in the gang that I had that any outsider, including a cop, gets a summit if he can cut it with a leader. 
So, uh, you have that rule in this gang? Yeah. So? No rumble. Just you and me, right? Just you and me. No, no, Cut no, it any way you there want. There it is, Buzz, huh? Look, will you stay out of this? I mean, after all, you want these creeps to drag you back down again? Cutting them up, that's not going to get you anywhere, right? I don't hear anything, leader man. Yeah. You want? Come on. <laughs> Buzz, this is crazy. You know. Now look, look at your shoes. Leather soles. So? Look at his sneakers. So, so you wouldn't stand a chance. Now, come on, please. It's, uh, it's my fight. Huh? So, uh, so, so he falls off. What, what good does that do anybody? Huh? You call ahead, huh, Packy? Okay, I, I got no beef. I mean, uh, you got the right. I, uh, I broke the rules, huh? Well, I'm breaking them again. Me and Marva, we're gonna get married. Now, uh, you wanna try and stop that? Well, you, you try it now. I say Packy is a chicken leader. Shut up! I see he ain't got the guts to take me on a Polaris. I invented this game, remember? I'm the boy that walks on clouds. I'm still leader, Packy. I'm the specialist. <laughs> okay, specialist. You follow me, pigeon. Because where I'm going, you gotta fly!
You uh, you shoot it off. He follows me. Vote. He, he follows, follows you. you. You ready? That big man, huh? Are you kidding? <laughs> you first, man. Come on, Packy. Hey, wait, wait a second. Come on. He's a chicken. Look at him. Shut up. Call the log, Packy. Shut up. Good chicken. You want to try mine? It's ten stories. You're a chicken. Chicken. Are you okay?
cat jumped over the moon. Yeah. Thanks, fella. For everything. Forget it. I wonder what Chuck would have done about that. Executive Producer.